Okay, okay. You're done with the Getting Around the World folder. Now let's start the American Indian Cultural Regions folder. Remember to click the folder here to open up and see your learning target. The learning target is what you're expected to learn and also what you'll turn into me so I know you learned it. The top two things you're supposed to learn in this folder. How to compare the cultural aspects of Native, Amer Native American tribes. All that is is comparing this tribe's clothing to that tribe's, tribe's clothing or this tribe's music to that tribe's music and you're doing it by region this time so there's some that live in the northwest and there's some that live in the south and they are different based on where they are so you're going to do a project and compare the different regions of the United States and the tribes that live there when you turn that project in you'll get a social studies grade but you'll also get a language arts grade because you're technically doing language arts work when you're writing up an assignment so the standard that you're proving hey I know this is how to explain the relationships or interactions between two or more individuals events ideas or concepts in a historical scientific or technical text based on specific information in the text so you do one project and you get two grades for it so that's pretty cool um, how you're going to prove that you know it and how I'm going to know that you're done with the folder is because you're going to submit your final project. It's a PowerPoint, a Prezi, or an essay, your choice. And you're also going to submit your map. There's a map that you're going to make with the different regions of the United States, and they're going to be labeled. Let me show you where to start. Remember, I like to right-click and open in a new tab. So right-click here and open in a new tab get rid of the old tabs. So it's the first page again always has the project. To complete this folder you'll need to submit two things, a map and a project. And We just talked about that. To find out all for uh, where your resources are, click here. I right click. Let's check it out. Alright, so this is your resources page. Your resources page is also right here. Every time, every folder you're going to have a resources folder where all the files live. That's this folder here. Below you're going to find everything you need to complete your work. The first thing you need is a framework to take notes. So let's find the thing that talks about notes right here. Chapter 3 student notes. Click on it. It downloads to the bottom of the screen. I'm actually going to download everything to the bottom of the screen and then we'll click on it when we need it. Perfect. Okay, Chapter 3 student notes. Let's click on it. It's opening up. Perfect. It's right here. First thing you have to do is click Enable Editing. It lets you type on the screen. All right, like I said, these are the notes for the reading. I set them up for you so it's super easy. Here are the different regions of the United States. And here are the other regions of the United States. You're going to type in the information you learned about the Northwest Coast. No, I already typed it in for you. No big deal. The Northwest Coast, where is it in the United States? It's from Alaska to California. What type of environment does it have? A variety of trees, lots of rainfall. Tell me about the tribes. I can't pronounce that one. Chinooks and I can't pronounce that one. Uh, it has wildlife. It has food. What kinds? Plentiful fish, deer, elk, goats, bears, wolves. Then you come down here to the first green slide, still the northwest coast. I finished it out for you. They have huge wooden houses, totem poles, outside show families that they're social. Um, the clothes they have are made out of bark's soft inner core woven together. Their tools are used, they use bark to make nets for fishing. So now the rest is up to you though. You're going to fill in information about the California Intermountain and all the way down to the southeast regions. You're going to have information for all of them. Don't forget to fill in both sets of slides, the blue and the green, because the southwest is here on the blue, but it's also number three. The southwest is here on the green. You're going to use this to do your project. The main point of the project is to pick a region and compare it to another region. So you might pick the plateaus versus the southwest. Well, while the plateau, the tribes that live on the plateau, they have houses that are made out of blah 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 blah. The 
people who live in the southwest, those tribes, they have houses made out of blah, blah, blah. You're just going to pick two and talk about it in your project. That's all. So when you take notes, start thinking about which two regions you think are the coolest so you know what you want to take note, what you want to do your project on. So let's see. Framework to take notes. We, we looked at that. Let's look at a map to edit and submit. That's one thing you got to turn in for your grade. It's right here. It's called American Indians Region. It's PowerPoint. There it is. Remember to enable editing. So you're going to click on these labels, and as you read about the different regions of the United States, you're going to label them with the pre-made labels. So I'm not really going to tell you what goes where. I'm just showing you what I expect. You move the labels onto the different spots. If you need to edit the size of the font, you can do that up here. And once all the labels are placed, you change this thing here, change it to your name, not the words your name. You're going to save it, and then you'll get to submit it at the end of the folder. I'll show you where that is. After the map, you want to look at the rubric and then the template. So let's look at the rubric. The rubric looks like this. I always enable editing on mine because I want to mark it up. I want to say, yep, I did this, yep, I did this, yep, I did this. Remember, the two choices is either a presentation, like a Prezi or a PowerPoint, or you could do an essay. In the essay or the presentation, you need to talk about these things. You're going to pick two regions to talk about, Plateau and California Intermountain. You're going to talk about the environment there, the tribes there, the wildlife there, the food, the house, the clothes, the tools. You're going to compare them. That's all you're going to do. As you start forgetting stuff, you start to get a lower score. Your goal is to try to get all fours here. So if you talk about the two regions and all of their intricacies and all their extras here, then you'll get fours on these sections. Spelling and grammar, if you have little to none, you'll get a four. Content accuracy. All content throughout the presentation is accurate. There's no factual errors. Right here it says, if you copy and paste, you'll get a zero. That means if you turn in a project to me that you copied from the textbook or copied from the internet, you'll get a zero on this section, and it'll bring your grade way down. Don't do it. A lot of times kids just end up doing the project twice, and that's no fun. Um, also pictures. You add pictures, you get points, and you want to get points. So this is just sort of like a cheat sheet letting you know how to get a high grade on this, on this project. It's open twice. There we go. All right, so you saw that. Now you just want to see the template on the essay or the presentation so you know which one you want to pick. The presentation is Prezi, or you could do an essay. Let's look at the essay. All right, template for the American Indian Cultural Region essay. Your introduction paragraph. You will write about two regions, like we talked about, Plateau and, you know, um, the Northwest, let's say. Um, you've chosen to discuss. Talk about where that region is located in the United States. Also discuss the tribes that live there. Those are the only things you need to talk about in the introductory paragraph. First body paragraph. You will write about the environment of these two regions. Example, desert, rainfall, whatever, and the wildlife or food available in that environment. Second body paragraph. You're going to write about the houses of the two regions. Example. Uh, you're going to write about, like, if it's a made out of wood, if it's a teepee, if it's underground, and then you're going to talk about the clothes that they wear and the tools that, or the objects that they can make in their environment. The conclusion paragraph, you're going to sum it up like this. Region 1 is very something something because they have lots of something something and they live near something something. Region 2 is very yeah because they have lots of blah 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 and they live near the stuff. The American Indians in these regions are similar because they, this sentence is important. You're going to compare them, but also tell why they're similar. So that's if you only choose to do an essay. If you choose to do a Prezi, I'm going to try to make this work. You're going to edit this Prezi that I already made for you. You can make your own, that's up to you, but I think it'd probably be easier if you edited this one. You're going to change this here where it says type the region here. You're going to put you know, plateau if you choose plateau. And you're going to put, you know, southeast if you choose southeast. You're going to change this section to your name. 
you click on it and you delete it and then put your name there and then each circle's already been made for you you just need to delete the directions and put the correct answer region you're gonna put plateau region is located in the da 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 da, da of the United States and over here region this is the other region so the southwest is located where or southeast is located where Florida is currently environment remember delete the directions put the your answer it has a very hot environment with little rainfall or however that environment is and then you're going to change it for the other one here you're following the same set of directions for each slide you're going to talk about the tribes delete my directions put your answer you're going to talk about the wildlife and the food it's the same as the essay you're just doing it in a in a prezi instead so I hope that makes sense and if any of this does not make sense you know how to get up in contact with me so we clicked here open in the right click to see all of this information and it stays there on your main page whenever you need to go back and look at it it's right there that's why I right click and open in new tabs so I can go back and look what at what I want to look at later once you see how to do either the essay or the pre prezi plus the map you can start your reading the reading right here section one is right here you're going to want to take notes in your chart as you go and now you start to have questions so you're going to answer the question here answer the question here and then you're going to submit you want to put a real answer because you get real points that affect your real grade and then there's only one more section of reading to do in this assignment it's about the northwest coast so you want to take notes as you read and then answer the question at the bottom and you type your answer here and you submit did you take notes? Final question. Yes, I took notes the whole time, or no, I need to see the reading again. This will put you back at the beginning of the assignment and let you click back through. Um, please do that, because the notes are the most important part to finish the project. Yes, I took notes the whole time. So then it will tell you that I'm going to grade your essay and tell you about your score later, and this is how you could get back. I don't like using that. I'm just going to use my tabs. You have sections three and four. There's no questions to submit here. You have sections five and six. No questions to submit. Section seven and eight. No questions to submit. Those are all reading sections, and I know that's a lot. So you might want to parse it up and do these two things in the first day and these two things in the next day. That's up to you how you divide it up. After you do that, you've got a review game. I'm going to open it in a new tab. It sits right here. Sharpen Focus, American Indian Review Game. You're going to use your Odyssey login and password here. I don't have one, so I'm just doing this for an example, but please use your Odyssey login and password. Student 5. And I don't know if it's going to pop up the proper game because I don't have one, but we'll try. You click Login here. It, it exits and moves you to a new tab that's loading right now. You want to come back to the tab you were already in and click open the game here that way you can see the game it opens in a brand new screen student 5 already played the game and already uh, got its score so you're gonna wanna play the game using your login and password so you can get a score and I can hold on to that score um, when you're done with the game you've done the reading you've done the game now it's time to submit your map and submit your project remember your map is moving the labels right click open in a new tab this is the one where you're supposed to move the labels onto the regions you are going to click the add submission button on the bottom this is teaching you how to submit an assignment you click the file that you want mm, we'll call it that file I'm just pretending you click the file with the proper labels on it and submit it click save it thinks about it. Here's my map. And save changes. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> it does let you edit if you need to edit, like if you messed up and turned in the latitude and longitude assignment. Oh no! You can edit it and turn in the one that you wanted to turn in. 
but I was just showing you how to submit a file. Come back to your list. You have one more thing to do. Submit Indian Cultural Regions Project. Remember, this is the essay for the presentation. If you need help, please let me know, because I will help you. That one is right here. Submit the American Cultural Regions Project. Click the Add Submission button below to attach your project to this assignment. So you're just going to do the same thing. Click the Add the File, and then you're going to save it and submit it to me. If you need help, again, please let me know on the side of your course. There are a couple different ways you can contact me. You can put your phone number in here, and it'll call my phone. You can start a Hangout, and it'll call my computer or my phone. Or you could text me, but make sure you put your name, because I won't know who text, texted me if you don't. Uh, let me know.